You're watching the Steve's Haunted Yard channel. Get your haunt on. <laughs> For the base of the cemetery build, these are some long jokers, but I needed to go the whole length of the cab and the uh, um, coachman area. So, pretty crazy. And I got some of the metal stuff for the uh, axles. What? If you want it to go more inside, you can tip it over by Matt, um, Devin's side and it will go back. <laughs> I think we're cool. fine. We'll be okay, all right? Okay. Say, is it spring break, baby? Say, it's spring break, baby. It's spring break, baby. All right, guys. Ready? Time for a video here. So I have the entire base framed out with uh, two by fours. Holy crap, this thing's gonna be big. Devin's, Devin's riding the, uh... <laughs> what is she doing? She is too big for that. <laughs> I'm like, what's all the commotion going on over here? Devin's uh, practicing for her driving test over there. So, anyway, I uh, went and got the uh, steel bars today for the axles for both sides. I'm not even going to need this flange on, on this part because these wheels are so freaking tall. I'm going to be able to put that axle right up against this base. This is as tall as the base is going to go, so I don't need any space in between there. I already have a plan for that. I need to go ahead and start putting my cross boards. Um, I've already got four, five, six of those cut. Um, that's what the back door is looking like. With this door attached to the frame, this is going to be right at about six foot tall. Um, with the difference in height from the center hub on these large wheels and these small wheels, when I raise the frame up with that fifth wheel part, it almost brings it up exactly. Um, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to need extension, um, these extensions even on the front. Um, so it's looking like it's going to work out really good with these size wheels. Uh, these suckers are really sturdy. I just totally sat on that bar with all my weight, and it doesn't budge. I mean, it's solid. And I haven't even started to fortify this thing yet. Uh, I am going to make it to where these walls can come apart. Uh, I want these um, wheels and axles to come off so I can break this thing down. I uh, don't really have a place to store a hearse this huge. Ultimately, I wish I had a bedroom big enough to put it in. I could I could sleep in it. I think that'd be a good idea. But um, anyway, that's what we're looking like right now. Coming together. Man, this thing is going to be awesome. Okay, everybody. So <clears throat> here's what one of the sidewalls. It's just really just sitting up there for now. Um, you know, it'll be a little di different than that. I'm just making sure uh, before I keep going that everything, the measurements are correct before I get too uh, detailed with hooking everything together. Uh, still, still need to figure out how I'm going to secure the wheels, you know, what type of hardware I'm going to need, um, but just kind of roughing everything out. It's uh, really starting to come together now, now that... Uh, I've got this other wall, of course, done. You guys have seen here. So I've got both these side walls, uh, the back door. So I need to do the front, just uh, just the front frame there to close that out. And the last part I'll probably work on is like the coachman's seat and the, the foot panel. Um, but I need to start getting some bracing across here. And I think I know how I'm going to mount the axles and I think I said it before but once I put that fifth wheel piece on that axle and raise this wood up to the top of that axle I'm not even going to need any of this type of uh, flange stuff I'm going to go a different route so we'll see if it works but so far I'm really liking the look of this thing that is freaking cool okay people um i just got the chair base mounted you guys can see how i have this well if you guys can tell um 
kind of hard to see with the uh, light glaring, but it swivels so the wheels can uh, can turn so the wagon can turn. It is swiveling. That is the coolest thing ever. So my wagon can turn. I mean, it's not a crazy turn radius, but but it turns. How awesome is that? All right, I couldn't help it. I uh, <clears throat> went inside, and told myself I wasn't gonna jack with this anymore, but I wanted to uh, just kind of set the uh, back door up there so I can kind of see what it looks like. One of the sidewalls on there. Things really taking shape. Uh, I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> oh, you guys just don't even know. So, uh, whoop, focus. So there's some of the suspension there. And that part again. So, anyways, all right, I couldn't help it. I wanted to uh, see what it looked like with some with the box on it. It's almost, I think, the perfect height, so um, it's really, really going to turn out great. Okay, got the uh, wood today to cover the platform itself. Um, also bought some uh, angle iron today to go along the whole length to uh, really strengthen up this frame, one for each side. Um... And then I'm trying to figure out, because I mean, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I want this whole thing to be able to break down because, as you can see, it takes up my whole entire garage. And I, I just don't have room for it. So I'm going to need this thing to be able to break down. So I'm trying to think of a system or a way to connect the walls. So what I'm thinking, I, uh, I bought some just square stock, some cheap square stock. I'm going to attach this square stock to the base and this square stock to the walls and this will slide into this if that makes sense so kind of what I'm what I'm thinking about doing uh, also went and got the hardware to attach this the correct way I just kind of had some random uh, bolts to hold it on for now I went and got some really good lag bolts um, to really, uh, get this thing good and in there. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I still have to figure out the wheels, how to, how to really attach them. Um, these front ones, I think I've got it figured out. It's those back ones. I'm actually going to need to go to Home Depot and have them cut me a wider, um pipe for back there because this the walls are going to have some angles on them and it's going to need to be a little wider in the back than in the front so those wheels are going to actually come out a little further to accommodate for the for the difference in the width of the buggy in the back versus the front um then need to be a lot larger maybe 6 inches Larger. It's a 60 inch um, axle, so about 66 inches. And that shouldn't be a problem. That's all I got. That's all I got for now. Um, it is Friday. I took leave for a couple of days, spring break. Just wanted to get a little bit of this done. And I feel like I've accomplished quite a bit. Uh, it, you know, especially even just picking up the things that I need to uh, to get it going. And, uh, anyway, it's coming together very quickly. Please subscribe today.